Welcome springtime and happy Easter. It's now time for the color reveal of vegetable egg coloring. What do you think we used to create this color? Now on to the process. We have two pans here. This first one is red cabbage. And this is a combination of red onions and brown onions. Now on to the process. We've got our eggs, we've got our red cabbage. Now the brown onions, we just used peels and we peeled the red onions to make this beautiful color right here. Now we put our eggs in with the brown onion skins as well as the red onion skins. And then we used a half a cup of distilled vinegar, boiled them all for about 30 minutes. Did this process with my sister Kathy and she said, we've got to take them out otherwise they'll just look like brown eggs that you would buy from the store. So this is after they've soaked for about a half an hour afterwards, for about a whole hour in the water. But I said, well, I want to know what they're going to look like if they soak for uh, almost 12 hours. We finished around midnight on Easter Saturday. It's now officially Easter Sunday, one o'clock in the afternoon. So these have been in the water for about 12 hours. And she said, if you leave them in, they're going to look like regular brown eggs. What have we got here? We've got this two-tone egg. It's wet, so it's kind of hard to see the specific colors. I don't think it picked up a reddish tone, but they are definitely darker than the ones that went in in just a half an hour, but not significantly more. Now with the cabbage, we left them in for a whole hour boiling, but after the half an hour, they were on a simmer. Uh, so they were actually boiling for significantly longer. And the, the uh, instructions that we saw said four tablespoons, but when we looked at this, we're like, that one looks like it has more water, that one looks like it has less. So we just did a half a cup of each, and we were having a really wonderful time with it. So don't follow specific measurements, just make sure you're enjoying the process. That's what's most important. I don't know what's underneath here. Um, so this really is the reveal. I'm gonna start looking for the eggs now. Ah, now red cabbage makes for a blue egg. And you can see this pan that we had didn't really hold the eggs underwater. So I just made sure to leave the red cabbage on top and look what that one did. It created that purple, almost like something you would see at an ocean art shot by the water. That's the first one. There's another one. So, red cabbage can actually make that beautiful purple color if it's above the water vinegar combination. There we've got all the blue. Now we have a dozen eggs. Every one of them is coming out differently. Again, if the cabbage lays on the egg, it picks up the purple. If it stays in the water, that's the boiled water, the cabbage residue with a half a cup of vinegar. In this situation, it makes a very dark blue. Oh no, there's a brighter blue. It's much lighter. Wow, that's fun. And here is our, wow. I, I, I'm saying wow because I have not peeked. I did not know what we were gonna find here. Did we find all of our eggs? One, two, three, four, five. There's another egg in here. There it is. Here comes the reveal. Here comes the reveal. What have we got? Wow. You know, this was not planned. We just didn't have two pots that were going to go completely underwater. We were actually going to do beets, but realized that we didn't have enough pots to do all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Oh, there's one more. We got one more. That one's an easy one to find. That's for 12 hours. That's for about an hour. So we've got that brownish color to a brick tone. So mixing the 
brown onions with the red onions does create the reddish shade if you leave it in longer. Now back over, how much did we use? Well, we have this much cabbage left. Think of a regular head of cabbage. The brown onions were just the peels and then we peeled these red onions. I enjoy onion soup. So I am not gonna be discarding this and I really like cabbage and just so you know that this red cabbage, which is really purple in my eyes, is uh, has more health properties for you than the green cabbage. So I'm gonna consume this cabbage because the only thing that's in there is water and some vinegar. And to bring mom into this, I've placed mom's Easter water uh, here on our Easter coloring egg display uh, to bring mom into this because she's the one who taught us how to color eggs. And she was taught by her mother, um, Irene Gadomsky, who did the brown eggs uh, with my sister Kathy. So thinking of them on this holiday season. And now on to the traditional candies of Easter. And this is what I consider to be the traditional candies of Easter. The chocolate rabbit, the marshmallow peeps, Easter eggs, a Cadbury cream egg, and the marshmallow eggs. And that is uh, egg coloring using vegetables and what they look like. That's the real reveal. Till next time, happy Easter.